Superstar. 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 Okay, uh, time to work, sit down. Let's get it, E5. Well, hello, happy Saturday, all my loved ones, all my good people, my fit fam out there. Coach Dante is here, guys. Showing much love for Elements Health Club, Sacramento McComas, head coach of the ECT training. Guys, it's about to go down on this Saturday. Hope you all are ready. Well, some of you guys probably been up and at it already with Coach Sarah and Coach Ollie just hitting it. But Coach Dory, man, you got it nonstop. All right. Hope you guys ready to go deep before we go on into the dungeon. Deep down to the dungeon, baby, with some dumbbells. Hope you guys are ready. So, I have the dumbbell set. I have a uh, set of 25, set of 10, and set of 5. All right. Hope you guys have a light set and a moderate set, not too heavy, for today's workout. All right. We are going version 2 style, and we're going to be hitting just two modalities today for Saturday strength. We have three rounds of mobility and three rounds of strength. All right. Different time intervals. On these guys, we're going 45-50, I'm sorry, not 50, 45-15 on mobility three times around. And we have strength, we're going 40-20 three times around because we're going with some heavier weight, all right, and going with some mind-muscle connection on each rep. So hope you guys are ready to hit it. So I'm going to demonstrate each exercise, all right, that we have designed in the wide. After the demonstration, we have just three exercises that we're going to hit. For the warm up, each one of those are going to be 45 seconds of warm up, 15 seconds rest. And then we have our three rounds of mobility that we're going to knock down. We're going deep down into the dungeon, you guys. You ready to hit it? I see it, Coach Ali. Hello. How are you still at it? Just up teaching class and now you're just here? I love it. I love it. That's why I learned from you guys. I learned from the best. All right, guys. Now, I will say this before we get started. We got some pretty fair weather out here in Sacramento. For the most part, we got some sun, got a little bit of clouds. We're looking to be expecting some rain uh, around tomorrow and Monday. But as far as the Saturday, looking pretty good. All right. How's it going out there where you guys are at? All the way in Eugene, Tacoma, and Tahoe. All right. You guys chime in. All right. You guys can let me know that at the end of the workout. It's time to work. All right, so here we go, team. Our mobility. We are going with bridge reachovers. We did these uh, the other day and our mat mentality. Guys, this is an exercise that is very, very dope for mobility. I actually use it also for... I'm sorry, guys. Call coming in. Sorry. Call's coming in. Um, but I use it on mat mentality, guys. It's a very good um, stretch exercise. Also very good for mobility. And it's a very good exercise to do it right when you wake up in the morning. I just roll up out of the bed onto the floor and I do these guys so watch them very closely. You're going to enjoy them. We have our full body folds. We have our Cossack squats and we have our snow angels. All of these we're going to do with the light pair of dumbbells. All right. Hopefully you have a two and a half to seven and a half pounds. No more than that guys. If you have a ten pounds and you can handle that, go ahead and use those. All right. Then for strength, our 40-20, we're going with our kneeling thrust and press. Very good exercise for the hips and the shoulders. And then we're going into Renegade Rows. Exercise three, we're going alternating cursey lunge with the lateral side raise. All right, getting those medial delts, so side delts working. And then exercise four is going to be clean bombers. All right, this is a very good dynamic exercise for strength building as well as conditioning too. They're called clean bombers. Yes, there's going to be some cleans in here. But the bombers are going to sort of like deadlift with the dumbbells kind of tapping the ground. So watch me very closely on these. But exercise one on mobility, we have our bridge reachovers. I'm going to grab 
with a light pair of dumbbells. All right, we're going to come down into a bridge position. Land on our back, knees upright, feet are flat. We're going to bring this down just a little bit so you guys are able to see me. All right, so those of you guys that were in our mat base classes a couple of days ago, uh, if you guys really like these, we're doing them again. So we're in our bridge. Into our blue bridge, got our knees upright, got our heels under our knees. We're going to try to raise our toes up, guys. Try to keep the toes off the ground. Your arms to the side of your body, robust up with those light dumbbells. What's going to happen is you want to drive your heels hard into the ground, brush your hips up, and as your hips are coming up, one arm is going to come, reaching over, dumbbell tap in the ground. While the other arm is upright, squeeze that glute, and you'll get a nice stretch in your lats, as well as good rotation in that rotator cuff, your scapula, as well as getting some good alignment in that thoracic spine. And we're going to alternate, drive that hip, bring up, reach up. Up, reach, try to get that belt up, tap the ground, right, weight, and over. Very good exercise, guys. I love those. Exercise two, we're going to two, our full body folds. So we're coming out, here, about here to shoulder width apart, guys. Got our light pair of dumbbells. The first thing we're doing is we're going to a hip hinge, like we're going to our deadlift, hinge our hips, slide bending our knees. From there, we're going to drop our glutes down into a squat from our heels. Dumbbells coming up. We're going to bring those hips back up. That butt back up. Thrust those hips in. Pull the dumbbells up and press. All right? We're bringing that down. We got hip hinge. Squat. Butt up. Hip thrust. Curl forward and press. Bring back down and repeat. All right? Exercise three. We have our um, Cossack squats. Oh, yes. So we're taking our dumbbells. Just holding it right here. On the chest, get a nice wide stance, guys. This is where you're going to really brace that core, belly button into spine. So keep that balance. And with your feet slightly, slightly turned out, not turned out too wide, but slightly turned out, you're just going to squat down to one side, bring that glute down. The other leg, the stabilized leg, the toe is going to come up. Keeping the heels on the ground at all times. Coming back up, squeezing your glutes, and squat to the other side. Come down as low as you can. If anyone needs to regress, if you don't have the balance or the flexibility to work it, you can just go into side lunge. Just get those dumbbells, step it up, side lunge, come back up, and alternate. All right? Well, practice it, you guys. It's very good to practice on the TRX. If you have TRX at home or any kind of straps, practice with those. Then we have our snow angels. Grab our dumbbells, feet about hip width apart, just slide hands on your hips, slide bending your knees to allow your upper body to come over about 15, 30 degrees. Light dumbbells are down, with palms facing out. Chest slightly tucked in so your neck and spine is neutral, and then wrapping those arms and dumbbells up, overhead, and back down. All right, team, so we have three rounds of those, 45 seconds work. 15 seconds transition, switching to the next exercise. Then for strength, we're going into 40-20. First one is going to be the kneeling thrust and press. I'm going to use light dumbbells on here just because I'm demonstrating. I'll take it up to 10s. I'm going to work the 25s as we start going, all right? So we're coming down onto our knees. Knees about hip width apart. Feet are tucked in. Toes are tucked in, guys. Getting those dumbbells up into a neutral press. Palms facing each other. You're going to sit down on your heel by hinging your hips. Not just sitting down like this, but getting your hips back. And from there, thrusting them forward, squeezing those glutes, pressing those dumbbells up overhead, arms parallel to the side of your ears. Bring it back down, hinge, thrust forward, press. Bring it down, hinge forward, press. All right? Exercise two, we're going into our dumbbell renegade row. Now we're getting our dumbbells down, parallel. Under our shoulder as we go into a dumbbell plank. Now, this exercise, guys, you want to try to keep your hips from rocking side to side as much as possible. All right. Now, one of the ways you can help maintain that stability is spreading your feet. The wider your feet are, the more you can keep those hips from rocking side to side. All right. 
Don't do it too comfortable. You don't try to challenge yourself, but if it's a little too complicated, go ahead and spread those feet. Alright? You're going to have to keep. Don't sit nice and stable as you raise the dumbbell. Elbow, to your lat. Row. Row the other side. Row. Then go to your push up. And kind of switch it. Kind of confuse it. Go with the other arm. Row. Row. Then push up. Alright? Kind of confuse the body, guys. Start off with different arms after each push up. Then we have exercise four. We have our clean bombers. Watch this. So we have our dumbbells. Now watch where my hand is on the dumbbells. It's not completely in the middle. It's kind of like to the edge of to like to the end of one dumbbell here. As you can see, some space right there. That's where you're going to hold it. You want to get your feet. Let me turn a little bit here. Feet about hip to shoulder width apart. You're going to hinge your hips. As you hinge your hips with a slight bend in your knee, those dumbbells tap the ground. And as the dumbbells tap the ground, you're going to thrust your hips forward and clean, just like this. Bring it back down. All right, and get a nice little shoulder shrug as you thrust your hips forward. Shrug it, but you're not going to come on your toes like we do with the normal clean. All right, so just drop it up on. All right, clean bombers. All right, team, so that is our workout there. Now, let's get warmed up. I'm a little warm already. We have inchworms, alternating high kicks, and we have just body weight, body thrust for a warm up. 45 seconds of warming up, 15 seconds rest. You guys ready to do it? All right, team. Get this music pumping. Da -da, da -da. Good old inchworms team. Everything set. Timer is set. All right, team, good old inchworms. Get a 23 second count. Back in. Body bend those knees, get a good shift. Get a shift at the toes. And come out. All right, so straight, push up. All the back in. Hold it up. Arms over here, get a shift. Get a shift at the toes. Get a shift at the palm. Palm the plate. Push up. Get back in, hands on the hips right. Go to the forward, stand up. High stand. Awesome. All right, all ten high kicks. Left foot comes up, picking up the right hand. Right foot comes up, picking up the left hand. Right foot to the right hand. Right foot to the left hand. That tells you kick up. Got a crunch over. I'm going to twist it, bend it over. Like this, good shoulder mobility. Bring up that core. Good stretch. And our hamstrings. And hip mobility. Nice, King. Our last one is going to be the body weight thrust. Come here, arms up, and squat, press it up.
Core nice and tight. Belly button in the spine. And that lower back. All right, team. Got that blood nice and warm. Grab those light paradigm bills. Time for three rounds of our mobility. Bridge reach overs, full body foes, Cossack squats, and our snow angels. It's all about the quality and control about the movement, guys. Let's do it. Coach Ali. Hey there, Christina. You ready to work it? Let's do it, team. So starting off with bridge, reach overs. Everyone down, onto their back, knees upright, feet flat, elbows to the side of the body, like robot. Now, one thing I do want to correct on this, guys, is that when you're going into that little bridge, when your right arm reaches over, your left heel drives harder than the right. When your left arm is crossing over to reach over, your right heel is driving harder to the ground in your left, all right? So keep that in mind, now to keep that mind-body connection. Keep that very, very focused and intense. Here we go. Turn our knees back up. Listen for that three-second countdown. There we go, reach it over, a nice stretch in our flat. Alright, you bring your body down, just in case you guys can't hear me. Alright, team, full body pose. Keep it that weight light, guys, it's like dumbbells. Here we go. Hinge. One. One. Thrust, throw it, press, back down. Good hands, find it in your knees, front down, up, hinge, curl, press. All right, guys, we're going to that hip hand. Keep that chin down so neck and spine is neutral. There we go. Don't bring your hand up. Open up those hips when you come in. Squeeze the nose glutes, throw it, press. Nice, team. All right, we got our co-stack squat. If you don't have the core stability or the flexibility to uh, go into the co-stack, just go ahead and uh, modify it into side lunges. Nice wide stance. But I'm thinking loud enough. Keep both heels on the ground at all times. Nice. Keep off the control and the balance, guys. And the flexibility. Don't try to move too fast. Keep that mind body connection. Nice work. All right. Exercise four. Our last one, our slow angels. And a slight hinge in those hips. Slide bend your knee. Palms out, chin down. Let's go. 
Back around. Inhale. Exhale. Tucking that tailbone, guys. Bring belly button in the spine. Take the tension and load off the lower back. Belly button in the spine, mostly, guys, in that lower back. There we go. Almost there. All right, team. Round one down. Two more to go. Back two. Our glute bridge. Reach overs. We go through. Take and reach over. Put nice and tight. Get those hard into the ground. Yep. Get another arm roll back to the side. Woo! We're stretching those legs. We work that scapula. Very good, team. All right, on your feet. Full body pose. I'm going to break that core. Let me run on the spine. Let's go. Inhale. One. One. Let's go. Squeeze that butt. Curl. Press. Right. Squeeze that butt. And those glutes down to those heels on that squat. That core like to brace. Good hand. Tuck in that chin. Slide it. Huh? Bring the butt back and forth. Arms curl on the side of the ears when you press. That's those cosine squats. We're going to need to modify. Just go ahead and go with side lunges. We're going to throw those right in the middle of your chest. And keep them both here on the ground. Place that core. Yeah. There we go. Don't deal with all the time. Break that core, keep that balance. Awesome. All right. Time for it, guys. No angles. Slide hands, slide bending your knees. Kind of look at an angle to the ground. And that's the spine is neutral. Everybody up to spine. Slide bending your elbows as well. Nice inhale as you round it up. Exhale as you pull it coming down. There we go, team. I'll talk to one more. Awesome. Two down, one to go. Last set of the group bridge reach overs. Bring it down, team. Come on. Come on.
Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, do your shoulder. Move those glutes. Drop your heel, hold it to the ground. Toes up. There you go. Come on. Elbow stairs. Woo! Oh, those feel so good. All right, team, last set of our full body clothes. Let's go. Hinge it. Climb. Bring it up. Press. Curl. Or is that core? Press. Lock shoulders, elbows, and wrists straight. Like that. Hinge. Inhale. Exhale. Squat. Inhale, 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 press, curl, press, squat it, back, curl it, press, yeah, nice team, all right, on our coast that squat, Last set. Get a nice stretch of those adductors, the inside of your thigh as we're coming down. I'm gonna break that core, belly button in the spine. And let's go. Follow down. Keep the heels on the ground. Keep the boots coming up. Alternate. Keep that mind body connection, guys. We're not just going through the motions, we're training. Keep that mind engaged. Oh yeah. Come on. Ah. Woo! I love it, I love it, I love it. Woo! I love that stretch in here. Nice, right, squeeze those glutes, open up those hips. All right, team, last one. We got our good old snow angels. Wrap it around. Slide hands. Pull that belly button in toward that spine, guys. Take the load off that lower back. Palms facing out. Let's go. Keep that chin down. Make the spine as neutral. Inhale. Exhale. Go. Look at the mobility and ball of the socket of the femur into your shoulder blades. With that shoulder girdle, the mobility. Almost there. Inhale. Exhale. Nice, team. Rest it out. You got the love. You got the love. You. All right, team. Let's take about a minute. Grab some water or your BCAAs. Get a quick breather. Take about a minute, minute, fifteen seconds. Get ready for strength. Again, guys, if you have any questions about any of these movements, if there's any deviations, maybe strains, pains that you may notice in your body. Run these moves. Make sure you guys comment. Reach out to us coaches, guys. We're here for you all 24-7, all right? Not just live doing these workouts. We want to make ourselves available at all times. We want to give you some corrective movements, some modifications that you can use to get um, your coordination, your flexibility, your range of motion much better. You can do these exercises more efficiently, all right? Now we got three rounds of strength, guys. We're switching our timing. We're going from 45-15 to 40-20. Three rounds of the kneeling, thrust, and press. Now one thing I have to correct on, uh, on the kneeling, thrust, and press, guys, we're going to keep our feet untouched. All right, so they're having our feet, our toes tucked in. We're going to keep them untouched, all right? Then we have our renegade row. Remember, we're going row on one side, row on the other, then our push-up, 
All right, our push up after both rows, and then your rows, guys, kind of switch it up. Throw some confusion on the body. Don't always start with the same arm. For the most of the time, you should be rowing with your most uncoordinated, your weak side. All right, put that body into a confused state, and then we have our alternating curtsy lunges going into a lat raise. You may have to go with some lighter dumbbells on that. All right, and then we have our clean bombers. 40 seconds work, 20 seconds transition, three rounds, team. All right, I'm going 25s. But on those lateral raises, I'm going 10s because I'm going to have some nice, slow, controlled movement. And you have to focus on balance with that cursey lunge doing that lateral raise. So try not to go too heavy on those teams. Ready for this E5? Going back into that dungeon. Come down dungeon, baby. First one we got. Our belly, hip thrust, and press. Everyone on their knees. Feet tucked in. Also, if the music is louder than what you guys can hear me, just let me know. All right, I'll turn you down. And I can make sure we have that. Music pop going. All right, team. Everyone on your knees. Listen for that three-second count. Back. And. Press four. We got press. We got press. And press. Hand your hips to sit down. Press it forward. Press. On that press, guys. Squeeze your butt. Belly button in the spine. Tight abs. Should be able to get a minimum of six, 26 to 10, if you're controlling each rep. Make sure those arms are turned on the side of those ears. Squeeze that butt. Nice, team. Woo! All right. And you got dumbbell plank with our renegade rolls. Remember to keep your hips nice and stable. Try not to let them rock side to side. If you feel that, Go ahead, spread your feet. Keep them stable. Down down. Parallel on your shoulders. Here we go. Run. Run. Push up. Continue. On the other side. Run. 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 Pass the last. Row. 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 Push up. Control the movement. About the quality of the rest, guys. I'm trying to rush it. All right, team. On our feet. Lighter dumbbells. I forgot to demonstrate this one. All right, we're going. Cursey lunge. That cursey lunge. Down the way. Bring it up. Alternate. Cursey lunge. Down the way. I'm going to brace that core. Back knee almost touching the ground. But not quite. There we go. Control it, raise it up. And control it, coming back down. Nice thing. Awesome work. All right. We got exercise four. Bombers. <sighs> Holding at the end. So dumbbells are down at an angle. Hinge. Tap the ground. Thrust. Pick it up. Back down. Do not come up on the toes. Thrust, thrust, clean. Hinge. Thrust, thrust, clean. Keep the gun up close to the body. Do not do a curl. 
Drug it. Clean. There we go. Good. Good. Woo! Nice. All right, team. Round two. Nelly. Hit thrust. Into press. About six or ten. Hit that press. Hands your hips. Press your core. Press his core. Press. We need that butt. Hands nice and tight when we press. Bring that butt. Set two. Let the renegade row. Turn this up a little bit. You guys still hear me? Stabilize those hips. Elbow pass the lat. That's tough. Kicker. That dungeon, baby. Alright. Line up the weight. Press the line. Now we're ready. Where's that core? Keep that down. Let's go. Are we going to inspire? Yeah, we almost cut this one off. I'm resting. Come on, y'all. Hey. Hey. All right, bombers, guys. Four bombers. Put it all the way to the edge. In. Down to the angle. Let's go. In. Ten. Four, four, four. Three. In. Ten. Keep your feet flat. The shrug. Now the reverse curl. Shrug, clean. Use your butt. Reach your butt forward. Huh. Ah. Ah. Woo! Round three, team. I'm going lighter on this one. Billy, you don't touch. Come up and press. Here we go. Sit up, hit one. Press. Hand it. Sit down. Press. Hand it. Press. Ah. Ah. Yeah. Ah. 
Come. Come to rest, guys. Don't rush it. Come to party. Ah. Woo! Love it. All right, team. That's it. Let me get it closed. Alright, Way to work. <laughs> Confession. Designing these. Sometimes I'm like, don't say what the hell are you thinking? <laughs> oh, man. Oh. We still we got Chef Allen in the building. Make sure you start it from the top. Check it out. You're going to love this one. Team, way to push it through. When you walk through that dungeon, baby, then you will walk through the valley of the shadow of death. I will fear no evil. Uh, uh, my body, my dumbbells, shall comfort me. <laughs> All right, team. Let's rest it out, grab some water. All your BCAAs. Get a quick breather. We got our cool down. Uh, 
Alright, team, our core down. Just want to come down onto our knees. Feet untucked. Sitting down on those heels. Hands on your thighs. Just relax and breathe. Nice cool down music. Just relax and breathe, guys. Feet on tuck, sitting down on your heels, on your knees, hands on your laps. Got some good old the artist formerly known as Prince, Purple Rain. Well, let's just give me that Prince. Let's move this in Purple Rain. Alright, so let's get some nice neck rows, take your chin down. Back. Back down. Back on the shoulders. 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 Back on the knees, right arm stretch across in front of that left elbow. And switch it, left arm stretch across in front of that right elbow. Alright, team, you want to get a nice deep run? Right leg up, back knee, back a little couple inches behind your hips. All right, bring the core chest up, move forward, a nice stretch in the right glute. I'm sorry, the right hip flexor, left glute, the left leg should be forward. Back and push back, bring that core to keep that balance, that left leg should be stretched. Hamstring on that front slide. Relax and switch it. Right leg forward. Left leg to the back. Get that left knee a couple of inches back behind the hip. And head up, chest forward. Knee into that line. Get that right knee stretching. And left hip flexor stretching as well. And right heel, push it back. I'm going to brace that forward. Get that right leg, get a nice stretch in the right hamstring, and the left quad. Alright, team, on your knee. Body wide, we show the width, feet on the tip, arms on the ground, about a couple inches in front of uh, your shoulders. Get those hips, and put hands back, on the floor, child pose. Yeah. Then lay back onto the side of the chest. Head up. Step forward. Then the upper body squeeze those glutes. Feet on the back. Up and down. Bring the rotation to the left. Turn it. Bring the rotation over to the right. Carry yourself. Tuck in your toe. Think about a little bit wider than the shoulder width. Hold those kids back. Up to the floor. On the side of the ear. Long as long. And slowly, just get the inch for a lot. Bring your knee. And hold, tuck in that chin. Roll that back to the shoulder. Hold up. And once your arms over here, where's your core to balance, come up onto your toes, stretch your high. Woo! Awesome work, team. Way to hit the E5 Academy. Way to grab those dumbbells.
a battle, strike yourself through that dungeon, building that strength, getting that Saturday straight and rolling. Guys, I appreciate you guys for joining in with me today. All right, hope you guys have a fabulous weekend. The most important thing, guys, after that workout, that post-workout nutrition, guys, make sure that you are eating at least about 20 grams of protein in there, guys. Get something green leafy in there, fresh, okay? And their team, and remember, we are really, really digging into gut health, guys. So make sure you're checking out on our flow talks, all right, that we're having. Get into some good dynamics. We're even on a topic about intuitive eating, Coach Rob and myself, on Wednesdays. Make sure you guys join those, everyone. We're going to be doing a lot more teaching, a lot more instruction with our workouts. We want to make it holistic for you all, okay? And continue to stay updated on uh, the weekly uh, schedule for our workouts with our elite E5 Academy coaches, we thank you guys for being consistent to yourselves, not so much to us, but to yourselves in this pandemic. We know it's been a stressful time for some, but hey, we're going to come out stronger, guys. We definitely are. All right? With that being said, you guys enjoy your Saturday. Enjoy your weekend. Coach Dante, we'll see you all next week. Peace.